Good morning, I'm Morgan Donner, and today I'm going to continue where I left off in the how to scale up a book pattern to life size video and use that pattern to make a pair of mock-up stays. Check out that video below if you haven't already. When I measured the waist of the paper pattern, it came out to approximately 24 inches in the waist. Even accounting for negative ease, I most decidedly do not have a 24 inch waist, so we're going to need to make that a little bit bigger. So I want to add two inches here, but I want to spread it across the whole pattern. I don't want to put all of it into the side back or all of it into the center panel. It would be much better to evenly distribute it. So I'm going to make several cuts down and open this up. It's pretty easy. Just cut down the length of the pattern and then insert a strip of paper. After accounting for overlap, I'm adding about half an inch here. Tape it down to keep everything in place, and for anyone curious, I'm using wrapping paper to expand my pattern. Happy birthday! Do the same thing for the front stomacher piece, and then add a little bit to the center back, and I think I'm going to make that strap a little bit longer too. Alright, perfect! Starting with the center of the stomacher, I'll measure the waist again, and... It's close, but let's go ahead and add another strip. There we go, that's about right. So you could do this, it certainly works well enough, or, you know, just expand the pattern before you print it and basically get the same results. Yeah, whatever works for you. Now that the pattern is a size that might plausibly fit me, I'm tracing it out onto a few layers of non-stretch cotton, and then I'll cut out all the pieces. Ta-da! I'll sew that center back seam first, but the side seam can wait a little bit since it's going to be trickier with this curve. After the back seam is ready, I can work on all these boning channels. The originals are very tiny and very numerous, but the bones that I have for the mock-up are quite a bit wider, so I'll just use the bones themselves as a guide for drawing out the channels. I measure out each bone as I go by laying it down on the channel and then cutting it firmly with some all-purpose scissors. I'm all done with this first panel, so let's continue doing the same for the rest. Everything is nicely supported, so let's go ahead and get those side seams sewn. Using the stitched line at the seam allowance as a guide, I'll fold the allowance back and then top stitch it in place. This is not a historical thing, this is just a Morgan Donner needs to make a quick mock-up thing. Now that the edges are very precisely turned under just right, I can sew the side seam together. I'll loosely whip stitch the seams first, basting them into position, before making a stronger stitch via the sewing machine. Stitching is done! I also did a little bit of stay stitches around the strap to keep it from stretching out too much as I'm trying the stays on. For anyone that might have noticed, yes, the tabs at the back piece and side are not the same length. That's the same as the original though, although it had me really, really worried for about five minutes that I had super messed up something. The eyelets don't need to be sewn since this is just a mock-up, but I do need to mark out the placement to get a similar level of lacing support as the original. Using a small awl, I've opened up the eyelet holes and started getting the lacing in place. A 
a little bit of tightening to get things neatened up, and we are all done with the mock-up. I'm very happy with the look and the fit of the stays. There's a little bit of wrinkling here, but that's not a big deal and should be fixable with tighter boning channels. I am totally seeing why the original has those sewn Godet triangles. The tabs are desperately trying to open up higher into the waist. Not good. It's interesting how the straps are very clearly meant to sit on the upper arm or sort of off the shoulder here. Definitely not on top of the shoulder like most modern garments. It's a little bit movement restricting, but not the worst. So what do you guys think? I wouldn't mind a little bit more coverage up top, but you know, it does look a bit like the mid 17th century dress bodices. Don't go much higher up than what I've got here. So perhaps I should leave it as it is. There are a few small adjustments that I think I'd like to make though. Raise that neckline just a smidge higher and give myself a little bit more room in the bust. But other than that, the pattern is pretty much good to go. It's very exciting. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me make this mock-up and if you did, consider sticking around for the final version. If you are also making some of the fab garments from the Patterns of Fashion books, I would love to see. Tag me on Instagram with at Morgan Donner if you are so inclined to share. That is all from your sewing friend, Morgan Donner. I hope that you all had a lovely evening and happy sewing to you all.